Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the OpenOffice Org Program Calc and also basic formulas that are within it. So adding, times doing, multiplying and dividing. I would recommend this program because it's completely free to download and it's the equivalent of the Microsoft Office Program Excel. In front of you you can see a basic example of a spreadsheet that you could create in this program. This example is the money that you'd get in and it will automatically recalculate it if you change it. So if I change this 100 to 200 pounds, as you can see, the savings has gone up. If I change it back, it's gone to going from 240 to 140. Simple. So let's let me show you how we do the formulas. We're now on this nice new web page. So first of all, we're going to add 100 and 100. Now every single formula in this program will start with an equals. Then we're going to say we want to add whatever is in A1 with a plus to whatever is in B1. Then you press the enter button and it will add it up for you to give me 200. This time we're going to take away. So we're going to go equals, because every formula starts with an equals. Then we're going to say we're going to take whatever is in A3 away from whatever is in B3. So use the minus symbol. Press enter and it will work it out for you. So 200 minus 50, 150. Now then, we're going to divide this time, so we're going to get the equals, then 200, then divide is a forward slash, okay, because there's no divide button on the keyboard. So, that's something to bear in mind, you need to press slash, by, so we're going to divide the 200, by whatever's in B5. Press enter, it'll give us 4. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to times whatever's in A7, by whatever is in B7. So what we're going to do is put in equals this one times is a little star which you'll find above the number 9 on the numpad on your keyboard by B7. Press enter and it'll give us the 5000. But these formulas are especially good because if we change the numbers, so I put say a 1 in front of this, it'll automatically calculate it again and it'll go to any decimal place unless you set it to go to a set that's a place. Thank you very much for watching and next episode we're going to go over some slightly more advanced stuff like setting a limit on number decimal places and setting cells to have basic formatting such as currency or percentages. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Bye!